So yesterday we have seen the string related function. So today also we will see that. Uh, so yesterday last I did the design a function for copying source string into destination string. That means we have already seen this in the array chapter string copy. So similar way we did that in the. Using the functions next. I have given the homework design a function for comparing two string in such a way that if both string are equal then return zero else return one. This is called string compare and this is string upper so like this way. This is the function we have did today design a function. To search a given character in a given string. So we have to search the character so user will give the character and string so we have to search that character in given string if in that string character is found return the location where it is present if not then return zero in that string character is found return location else return zero we have to search that character if we will found the character we have to send that location to the main function if that uh, not found then we will return zero to the main function. OK. Hello, so in today's program is design a function to search a given character in a given string. If in that string character is found return location else return zero. So what we need we need return. Character pointer because function will return also location that means address so we will store in the pointer my function name is str chr string character and here also we will pass the location of the my string and whatever the character we have taken from the user character as of 20 and character print of enter the string nf s dash s f Enter the character. Sentence C C H. OK, now we will call. So we need here one pointer character pointer. First we will print. String. T is equal to my underscore str chr. Here we will pass string and character. So First, I will complete this function, then we will go to the main function. Here we need much more lines. So here my character pointer, my str chr, I will copy this line. What we need to do here? What is our task? Design a function, search a given number in given string. So we have the function. In that function, we have passed the string and character search a given character in given string so we have to find the character in these strings if the it in it in the string character is found then return location otherwise return zero so how we will check so we will take one for loop i is equal to zero p o five i plus plus we are comparing each byte by byte character by character with the p o five is equal to equal to ch if we will found then what we will return return address the return address that means p plus i so my what is the exact address of that character that is the p plus what is the location of i th? that my area location so we will return that if this is not true this loop is completely completed then we will write here return zero this loop is complete and no any times this if condition will found true so that means the this return will not execute any time so we will do the return zero here if i will return p is equal to equal to zero then printf character not found else printf present then we will print in which location my character is present which is the my character and which is my string so here p that is my return location what is the character that will also 
at that location what is the character is present then star p and after that character what is the string available so i will put here p okay understood this code yes i will run this code see here my string is embedded so that location is the this one here d is the entered character and d d e d so this is my after that character this is the string is available so we can put here instead of string s is equal to we can write here s is equal to percentage u or percentage d that is the unsigned format percentage u so we will get the location so here this is my starting location this is fourth number location and this d and d d e d this is my string so write down this code next we will modify this code next title is write a program to search how many times the given character is present in a given string not use my str chr to search we have to use this function only and we have to find how many times given character is present here we return the if my character is found we return that location and uh, if not found then return zero we found the location that present the character first time we need second time we need third time in total string how many times available so this is called repeated task repeated task we are using the loops so here we can use the loop called while loop you can see here i will use while so while loop is continuously calling the p is equal to str or chr string character so here p is equal to my str chr so first time when the this loop will become true so that means first time it call the function this is my function so it will st send the starting location of my string so i will write down the string embedded so this starting location of the string and character is my d so we'll send starting location suppose 100 and d will send to this so once d will find it will send the location of d to here in the p so we found this is the non-zero value so it will first true then it will come to directly inside my loop so it will come to inside my loop inside loop what i will do i will increment my count with one so first time this is things and i will increment my pointer location my pointer location will be next next it will directly call this function my str chr s and ch now s starting location is here not s sorry it's my mistake if we will starting s sending s then it will send the starting location so we have to send here p so before while loop what we have to do p is equal to s and count is zero p is equal to s that means starting location of 100 i have stored in the p so my first time my p is 100 second time it's p plus plus here written whatever the address and p plus plus that is the this location so here we will send this location is 101, 102, 103, 104, and 105. So 105 location will send to my str chr function character d. Again, this is the d, then it will return the location. My counter will increment with one and p plus plus. So p will come here and my counter will increment with one. My counter will become two. Here again it sends my str chr p and c. So my p is location this one 106 and then after 
this is it found the character at the location 107 so it will return here 107 here again i will increment my count so my count is here 3 and my p plus plus so here again we are standing this is the things and my string at the last location so it will find here slash zero so that is nothing so it will return zero while zero the condition will become false and it will come here here it will give the character is not found if any time it's a zero it will come and uh, else how many times character is present so like this way my code will rotate so i will write down the code here s p is equal to s counter is zero and here we will sending the p while counter will increment with one and address also will increment with one here if my counter is zero then we can say character not found else print of the what is the location and all things we will remove and we have to find here how many times so percentage d slash n and we will print here count here we need one count variable okay i will run this code Three times D is available. If I will enter E M D E D D E D and Z, so character not found. Okay, so write down this code. So this is only write down these things. This this area like this way you can do many things using the functions next string based predefined function so whatever all the functions we have seen that all the string based function but we have did by user defined here we will see predefined user defined that means we have make by ourselves now we will use so there is many functions available so for example i will give you string length so strln is the function it will calculate the string and in, in length and it will give return the length string copy string not copy strchr we have seen right now it will find the character and give the location of that character string compare here it will compare two string if equal then it will return one else return zero and compare so string concatenation it will merge two string after one string at the last it will so like this way n number of predefined functions available inside the strings so i will write the code so here we need one as include string dot h so we have to use predefined function then no need to declare and no need to define only directly we need to call the function so i will take here this is our string copy function so i will copy this area main function here character as source and destination enter the source string here we have make our own so i will remove the my so this is str cpi function we are calling we are passing source and destination but here something is different so i will go to press control in my keyboard and click on that i will directly go to the string copy function in the string dot h so in the string copy first one it needs a destination and second one is needs the source so the here is the character pointer then it's restrict and then it's a destination restrict is the class of the c plus plus area so that is the different thing so no need to see that part so that here we have to see string copy destination and source so first we need to pass here destination and second one is the 
so i will run this code so my string is hello it will copy to destination directly so this is my string copy function like this way you can see here in string dot h here you have a string set function string set one function so you can find this in the google also what is the exactly thing str set because the, here in the string string copy string concatenation string compare string length string n length memory move string dump dup i exactly don't know what is a string dup str chr so string com i comparison string compare i string i string so like this way string n number of functions available string set string upper string so all the things related to the string available in library so i will call instead of string length so i have to pass string length and source string and i have to store in the integer i suppose i will take and i will store in the i and here i is equal to percentage d so it will give me the calculate of the what is the length of my string so length is five so like this way you can use predefined function so write down this code so search on google how many types of function available and try to make your user defined function so don't use the predefined function directly at the learning stage you need to know about the how the functions and what is the benefit of once you make the user defined function there is many benefits your algorithm skill your data structure skill will improve how to do string manipulation how to delete character by character and all things so that will improve your algorithm and skill so that will be very much beneficial so whenever you don't know what i need to pass and what i need to take so you need to go to directly that string that function and see what is the thing is taking there here is the pointer that means it is taking we have to pass address string length and it is returning the size so we need the integer so like this way string n length memory move so you can see we have seen str chr here here it returns the character pointer in the return so we need pointer understood like this way okay next oh, i have to start storage classes but today we have not time so we will complete one more program related to this p83.c so here we have found how many times my character is available and all things next is the our target is delete character using strchr and strcpy so we have to delete character from the string using strchr and strcpy so strchr is used for giving the location of the character and strcpy is the copy the uh, other data in the string so here we have to copy also and here we have to delete that character location we need so because of that reason we need both the things similar way here we need non non need count so i will remove the count while p is equal to my str chr so here it will give the location here i will use my underscore str cpy and p plus one that is the next location and then p oh, sorry pd embedded okay so here p is equal to my str chr so p and ch p that means starting location here 100 okay then character is my d here it will find my character the character is this location it will give here this location that is the 104 location so what we are doing here here we are calling the my str cpy my my str cpy what we are passing source and destination okay so source and destination source is my p plus one that means this location and destination is p that means this location so at this location what i will copy all the rest of this string will be copy and slash zero also copy and it will come to here 
so strcpi what it will do it will copy whatever the source uh, string that into the destination string so my source string is starting with the p plus one that means this location so my source string is d e e d d e d and slash zero not double e d e d slash zero this is my source string i have to copy into the destination my destination string is starting location is this one p so it will copy to here so this d will copy here d will copy here and this d will copy here and then slash zero will copy here so this d will remove and this all are the cam here again it will we are passing that the location so here we will do p plus plus not p plus plus is needed if we will do p plus plus then it will starting from this e instead of d so we have to directly pass p and character so p that is the this location this location updated value is my this d so d d slash zero again it pounds d then we will uh, send the this location and this locations so this is my destination this is my source ed will copy again one one step so like this way we will remove the character understood this logic yes so here we have to not check character found or not so i will remove this here we have to not check after this completing we will print our updated string and before also we will print here updated string we need here my character star str cpy function this is my str cpy function this is my string d is removed here e is removed like this way you can do so write down this program done this yes yes okay